Hello friends! This time I'm reading Frodo by Antoinette Portis. To listen to more stories like this, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you! Frodo. All year long, the dogs went woof. The cats went meow. And the birds in the neighborhood went caw, coo, chip, beep, chip, beep, caw, coo, coo, chip, peep, caw, chip, coo, caw, peep. Until one day, out of the blue, little brown bird didn't want to sing the same old song. She didn't know what she wanted to say. Caw, coo, chip. But it definitely wasn't peep. Something silly, maybe. Frudel, sprudel. Definitely. Crow was not amused. What did you say? Um, Brutal? Uh-oh, she meant peep. Little brown birds say peep, like doves say coo. So true, we do. So little brown bird said peep. But six minutes later, something else slipped out. Tiffle biffle, just a little miffle. Stop! You are little and brown and you say peep! But she just said niffle! All of anyone? Dove liked to keep the peace. But not even snack time stopped the silliness from spreading. Because Cardinal figured out there could be silly red birds too. Ickle zickle, pickle trickle. Stop it! Too late. Now Dove was wondering if there could be silly white birds. Oobly snoobly, there could. You too, Dove. Try it, Crow. Everyone knows there is no such thing as a silly black crow. Please come back. You too, do something. We'll mind our peeps and coos. Lost cause. But Little Brown Bird knew they wouldn't mind them forever. So she wondered, could crows be silly too? Cloggin, zoggin, itsy boggin, frublic, dublic, not a crublic, sliggy, quiggy, zinker, triggy, buppy, scruppy, hup. Whoopee! Crows could. Flodden, yachts, plemish, ots. The neighborhood was never the same. Flisk, blurve. Ink, puddick. Smoogle. Skirt, poodle. The end. I hope you like this video. Please share with your friends what you learned today. For more videos, please subscribe.